Rick here with a quick tip. If you've got the red and eyes with the brushed aluminum handles, that's what it's supposed to look like. But if for some reason they start ending up like this, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so we use the Raiden knives here. They're excellent quality the knives. They're 100% American made, family owned business here in America. And if you get the brushed aluminum handles, this is what they're supposed to look like. Now, they're not recommended to go into the dishwasher, but every once in a while one will sneak in there, or two or three, and they'll end up looking like this. And you can see the difference here. And you have a very sad wife. Yes. So, um, I'm going to show you how to fix these, because inevitably it does happen. And Raiden themselves actually re recommend that you use the barkeeper's friend. So, and I'm going to use um, some good old fashioned steel wool here. Or a microfiber cloth. You can use either or. And we picked up the small packet of the barkeeper's friend here, so I'm just going to use that. You can actually get that from the Rada website as well. We found this one at Tractor Supply, this canister. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is put down my steel wool here. Put a little cleanser in it. Okay, now, if you're doing one of the knives with the sharp blade, make sure you put on some protection. I'm wearing a, a good heavy-duty leather, leather glove here that I use for my barbecue. These are the welding gloves. I use them for barbecue mitts. But you know, hold your blade with the glove here. So, I'm just going to wrap the steel wool around the handle here. And twist back and forth. It may take a little doing, some elbow grease, and see if I keep at it. Rinse it off and see what you got. That looks better. Much better. Okay, this was just real quick. I um, mean, you can keep at it for a little bit longer if you want to. You get even even shorter than that. But you can see, definitely better than it was. It's not quite back to the original yet, but we can get it there. Just have to keep at it. I want to tell you, if you don't have... A leather glove to, to use, just take and wrap it up into, into several layers of cloth. Uh, you can use any kind of cloth, really. Just give it a good wrapping around there so you, so you get that protecting your hand from that blade. That's all you want to do. So, um, anyway, you can use um, Scotch Bright pads, green scrub pads, you know. Um, that's how they use steel wool. Dremel. If you have a Dremel, a Dremel works nice too. I did one of those the first time. But um, just use a little uh, elbow grease and some clean cleanser here, and you get them. You can get them back to looking original like they were before. So, okay, this week's beverage of choice is another one of the Trader Joe's Joseph Brow selections. This is the Heller Bach. It's a Golden Bach beer, um, craft brewed. Um. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's it's got a lot of hop in it, and so that for that means it's a little bit bitter. And it is a little bit bitter. Yeah, you can I see think. that it does have a nice golden color to it. It is pretty. Yeah, it is and it's not. It, it doesn't taste bad. No, I can I can drink it. It's not nearly as bitter as some. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy it again, but it's not bad. But it's always fun to try. Yes, that to yes. me, that's the most. Fun mm -hmm. thing of all is trying new so, things. She's going to read you a little history on it here. Okay, this is what it says on the bottle. Heller Box Style Bach. <laughs> J 
Joseph Brau Heller Bach is our take on some of the classic Bach beers still popular in Germany today. This outstanding Bach is golden in color, very rich, and moderately hopped. Brewed with three types of imported malts, Hollertau aroma hops, and lager yeast. And it says it contains 22 international bitter units. Yeah, it That's does. bitterness <laughs> unit. I didn't know there was such yeah. a thing. <laughs> it, does have, it does have some bitterness to it, and it is very rich flavor. It's got a really deep, rich flavor. It would be a good beer for cooking. Yeah. It would be nice it's, thrown in a chili or mm -hmm. in, like, to braise a, a roast or something. It would be really good for that. It's not bad. If, if you like that type of beer, then you'll probably like this. So, pick one up, give it a try if you're in that area, and see what you think. Hope that helps. Hope it taught you something you can use. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a subscribe and hit the thumbs up and come back every week. See what we do next. Hope to see you soon.